Now we'll move on to discuss the bones of the thorax or chest region, including the sternum and the ribs. The rib cage or thoracic cage. This is made up of the sternum, the thoracic vertebrae, and the 12 pairs of ribs. The rib cage protects the lung, heart, and thymus gland. It also serves as an attachment point for a number of muscles, including muscles for respiration and muscles for the positioning of the vertebral column, as well as muscles for the movement of the pectoral girdle and the upper limbs. This image shows the anatomical location of the sternum relative to the clavicles and the ribs. The sternum is a three-component bone that forms the anterior midline of the thoracic wall. The three components are the manubrium, the body, and the xiphoid process, and these three bones do not fuse until at least the age of 25. The manubrium articulates with the clavicle bones and costal cartilages, and it contains a jugular notch. The body of the sternum is attached to the costal cartilages from the rib pairs 2 through 10. However, the 8th, 9th, and 10th pairs of ribs are not directly attached to the sternum. These are attached through the 7th pair of ribs, specifically its costal cartilage. The xiphoid process is attached to the diaphragm and the rectus abdominis muscle. The rib bones. As you can see in this posterior and anterior view of the rib cage, the first pair of rib bones is adjacent to the clavicle. The 11th and 12th pair are free floating ribs, meaning they do not have attachment at the anterior portion of the rib cage. There are 12 pairs of ribs. The first seven are known as true ribs. Pairs 8 through 12 are known as false ribs because they do not attach directly to the sternum and the 11th and 12th pair are not attached at all to the sternum. Only the thoracic vertebrae at the dorsal or posterior side. Rib bones have a number of articulations. Each rib itself is made up of number one, an attachment point for the costal cartilage at the sternal end of the rib. Number two, a body with a costal groove. Number three, a tubercle. Number four, a neck region, and number five, a head and articular facets. At the sternal end of the rib, the costal cartilage connects it with the sternum or the adjacent rib. The head of each rib articulates with the body of a thoracic vertebrae. Ribs one through 10 also articulate with the costal facets on their corresponding vertebrae. The 11th and 12th ribs do not articulate with the transverse processes of the thoracic vertebrae. The costal groove in each rib provides a path for nerves and blood vessels, and the intercostal muscles that move the ribs are attached to the superior and inferior surfaces of the ribs. <laughs>